Hello everyone. This is Kahani Vachak Swati and today I have got a very cute little story for you which has been written by my friend, author and storyteller Mr. Ramendra Kumar. So let's hear the story. It's so boring, Ringo the rabbit said with a yawn. You're right, Ringo, added Bobo the bear. There's nothing to do in the jungle. Why don't we play a game? Tug of war, suggested Jilka the parrot. But we are peace-loving creatures. Why should we fight wars? Hanuhati, the king of the jungle, declared. Oh, no, no, Maharaj, it is not the kind of war you have in mind. Here, the players are divided into two teams, made to stand in a straight line. Then they hold a rope and pull, pull, pull. The team which is stronger pulls the other team to its side, thus winning the game. But how do we hold a rope? asked Bobo. We don't. Instead, we will hold the tails and pull. What will the animals in the front hold? asked Ringo. Hmm, a brilliant question, Ringo. The teams will be led by two elephants. Hanuji can lead one team, comprising all male animals, while Mrs. Hanuji can lead the other team, comprising all female animals. Mr. and Mrs. Hanu will lock their trunks and tug. So what do you think of the idea? Chilka asked, looking around. I think the idea is a great one. We can have lots of fun, declared Ringo. Chilka looked at Hanu for his reaction. Hmm, the elephant thought for some time and replied, Let me consult Honey first. Hanu did not take a single decision without first checking with Mrs. Honey Hanu, who was widely regarded as a brave and intelligent elephant. An hour later, a declaration was made by the king. The first jungle tug-of-war contest would be held on the coming full moon night. Oh, preparations began in real earnest. The teams had been formed and practice sessions started under the guidance of Chilka and Ringo. Finally, it was the night of the contest and the teams lined up. Hanu and Honey locked their trunks. Hanu's tail was held by Chitu the cheetah while Honey's tail was grasped by Bijli the leopard and so on. A line was drawn right in the middle and the team which succeeded in pulling its opponent past that line would win. Chilka whistled and the most unique tug of war on planet earth started. He tried, egged on by the cheerleaders, pulled, puffed and panted. Sometimes Hanu's team would succeed in pulling, Honey's team a few steps towards the line and at the other time the opposite would happen. But no team managed to make its adversary cross the line. Everybody sang songs to cheer up the team. Oh, it's tug of war, it's tug of war. Tug, 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 left and right. Tug, tug, tug. The contest went on and on for two days and two nights. The animal babies started howling. The songs died down, but no side was willing to give up. Finally, Honey asked Hanu a question. Hanu dear, have you forgotten what day it is? Hanu thought very hard and finally almost shouted in triumph. Oh, it's a silver jubilee anniversary. 25 years ago, we tied our trunks in this very jungle. Of course I remember. So what are you going to give to me on this special occasion? Anything you ask for, dear. Anything? You promise? Yes. Then allow me to win this contest. What? How can I? You promise, but that's unfair. All is fair in love and war, dear. And this is both the tug of love and the tug of war, Honey replied. Hanu slackened his grip a bit and Honey pulled with all her might. Hanu and his team tumbled forward and crossed the dividing line. Mrs. Honey Hanu and her team are the winners. They have triumphed over Mr. Hanu and his squad, declared Chilka. The ladies did a victory dance while the gents sat in a line, their tails limp and their heads hanging down. Hey guys, come on, don't look so gloomy. It is our Silver Jubilee anniversary and I have decided to throw a grand party. We girls are going to organize a super feast for you in a jiffy. 
declared Honey. And Hanu was a eyes lit up. He raised his head and trumpeted and started doing a little jig. The other animals too got up and joined their king. Later, after the feast, Hanu asked Honey, "What about my anniversary gift, Honey? Ah, uh, the next go for contest. I promise I'll allow you to win." She declared and mumbled under her breath, "Provided you remember my promise, Hanu dear."